Leave it 51, turn right, heading 180. turn right, 245, report localized established. If you have not already had the chance, do be sure to go and subscribe to DJ's Transport, my second channel covering all things rail. Now, back to the video topic for today, and that is centering around United Airlines, with the emergence of a specific variant related to the global pandemic, which cannot be named due to YouTube's ability to restrict videos so quickly, but it starts with O and ends in Cron. This has left the aviation industry questioning what the future holds. While most countries are awaiting firm data before closing or keeping their borders open, it has not stopped the general cause for concern from so many people, and on top of that we have seen countries lock out people or restrict travel. With Christmas rapidly approaching, and us now in the festive season, for airlines this is generally their busiest time of the year. However, as you might recall last year in 2020, Christmas was not the Christmas we've come to know and love, with families generally separated, and of course for our beloved aviation industry, things stood at a complete standstill. There was optimism that this would be avoided for this calendar year, and I'd argue that that optimism still does remain to a certain extent. But of course, when we focus on international services, it remains to be seen as countries impose new border restrictions and are reverting to old ways, leaving travellers cancelling holidays. For United Airlines who are working to rebuild their network, including transatlantic services, if there was ever a good time, which of course there isn't for this kind of thing, it did not come at that non-existent good time, if you get what I'm trying to say. It's come for United at possibly the worst possible time. Thanks to an interview conducted with the Financial Times, Scott Kirby, an executive with the airline, noted that United this coming January would see services through to Europe impacted by developments surrounding this variant. This is the worst possible case for United Airlines, as we know the transatlantic sector is a significant market for them. It also plays a big role in their overall revenue, missing out on this for two years in a row to the highest capacity possible, and of course during a festive season where it's magnified by 10 with so many people desperate to see their loved ones, it's not hard to see the disappointment in this. What's important though to note for United is that while services will likely be slashed according to comments to the Financial Times, notably they do not expect their forecast to change on a financial standpoint. However, he did know that this has the potential to change at the drop of a hat, given how just two weeks ago we sat, I'd argue, in the best position for travel we've been in for a very long time, with borders largely open, and now that has plummeted significantly. In addition, with new testing requirements in the US, it's left many people, including myself, confused, who will be transiting through the United States in about 20 days if all things stays the same. It's over to you though, how do you think the effects of the new variant will impact travel if it will impact travel at all? There's much still to learn, so of course it's impossible to jump to conclusions, but what can firmly be said now is that the airline is going to be up against it when it comes to offering the capacity that they were initially expecting, especially on those transatlantic services, and of course that is the best case scenario. You can let me know your thoughts down in the comment section below. Thank you very, very much for watching. Do take care and be safe, and I'll see you next time. Oh,